Welcome back to a terribly exciting episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. We're heading into Verdant Turf Town now to explore it briefly, so this is another one of those skippable ones if you're in the mood for skipping. I might enter a Pokemon contest if I'm bored. Maybe not now, but maybe eventually. So, house number one on the far east gives you... Pokemon League. Yeah, this is true. This is absolutely true, and it's been true since the very early game. It's tough! Uh, Pokemon League is tough, and Victory Road is tough, and I don't really know how I'm, go how I'm going to do them in a Nuzlocke. Um, from the stories I hear, that's where most of the, uh... Nuzl that's where a large number of Nuzlocke's come crashing to a halt. I hope that's not, not mine, but it's possible. So... Anyway, Tunnel is. That'll become relevant in a minute or two, but it isn't now. And here's Wally. Remember him? Aww. So sweet. I still like Wally, even though he caught an illegal Rolts and trained him similarly illegally. That's Gulpin. She checks the first Pokemon. You'll see if I change out to uh, Mikolay, she'll say something different. See? All right, let's see what that let's see what that TV says now. I know you guys are all terribly excited by all this. Time for the Name Raider Shell. I just hope this doesn't turn out to be painfully ironic later. Hi, Pikachu. What does he say? Something about volcanic ash. Yeah, here we go. Volcanic ash? But what volcano? We haven't gotten to any volcanoes. Well. Spoiler alert, there are volcanoes. Feeling a little confident. I wanted to make its contest debut. So... And make a big uproar. Ha 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 ha. Because uproar is a word in addition to an attack name. It's funny because... Yeah, so... Anyway, this is the rest of Rust Turf Tunnel. There's not a whole lot in here. There's like one trainer. He has a bunch of Geodudes. I thought they did call that a mountain Pokemon. I mean, they do in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Because they got, because they had all the uh, classifications of Pokemon based on where they live. Maybe they took it straight from this guy's dial. Maybe this was foreshadowing. Oh, that would be crazy. Anyway, Geodudes are still fun to one-hit KO with any Water-type move, or Grass-type move. Not like I have any of those. Or probably Double Kick, but not like I would waste this valuable Phantasm experience points on Mikale, who is still, of course, way ahead of everyone else. At least having a three Pokemon team is better than having a one Pokemon team. Wing attack ought to be a one hit KO now. Or not. Or not at all. Karate chop. Yep, that came closer than it should ha than I would have liked it to have to uh, defeating Phantasm. Anyway, 301 leads to level 22. Very good. Ran out of power. I probably ought to be training Afflin more exclusively than I am Phantasm on account of Afflin is sort of the one with immediate interest in surviving the very next gym. Max Ether could be very useful, restores power points. In fact, there's a chance I'm going to need it like now-ish because I'm going to want power points restored so that uh, my Pokemon can continue to be trained. That actually that actually might be uh, useful for Afflin not too far down the road. Because I'm probably going to want to do a lot of training before battling the third gym. And this is probably the point where I want to train my Pokemon as much as I can so that Phantasm and Afflin can securely catch up to Mikale and not worry about fainting. Yep, see? They're Rock Smash Rocks. This entire tunnel was built and then stalled because they didn't want to disturb the wildlife just for the sake of two Rock Smash Rocks. How horrible is that? 
Anyway, could Athlon be one hit KOing these guys with Pound? It's possible. I don't really want to risk it. I'm just going to... Actually, I'm going to swap out to Mikale because I care less about where Mikale uses her power points. And I figure the experience points that they give is not all that... The experience points that they give are not all that significant. And I mean, here I can just uh, throw pecs into them and defeat the Pokemon without necessarily training on them. How many ether type items do I have anyway? This is probably actually the best shot I'm going to get to use them. Short of the Elite Four, and I'll have others by that point. Here's Mikulay, and Peck. Okay, if you guys hold on briefly. I have two regular ethers, and one max ether. This rare candy, I think very soon is the time. Probably on Aflin, maybe on Phantasm. Probably on Aflin. Actually, now is probably a fair, as fair a time as any for it. Well, not now, because I'd only be getting 632 experience points out of it, but... I don't know if I'm going to make a dash for Athlon's evolution before the third gym or not. If I do, that rare candy will get used there on the last level of that. And if I don't, then not. So say hi to this guy. He dropped his glasses. Um, they're around here somewhere. You're not supposed to be able to find them yet without the item finder, but I know they're around here somewhere, so... There we go. Black glasses. Boost the power of dark type moves if you give them to hold items. However, they're not actually his glasses. They're not what I'm looking for. And then he just leaves. It's sort of a strange event, but it's not one that I altogether mind. The bag is full. Let's see. I'm going to go. I'm going to go toss all the items that I'm not allowed to use. Like this. And this. And this is useless to me. And this. Whoops, wrong one. And this. And additionally this. Tiny mushrooms are also worthless, but I kind of like them, so I'm probably going to put that in my PC later on. Alright, now I can pick up the HP up. And furthermore, now I can use the HP up, because HP up is not an item that's illegal. So whose hit points do I most want to increase slightly? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and give him to Aflin. There we go. It's not all that significant. It's only two and a half hit points. See there, his max hit points rose from 60 to 61. See, that's kind of decent. It has something to do with EVs, which again, I'm not, I don't feel like explaining. And probably won't explain ever, because there's no real occasion to. Alright, back through the tunnel, and back to Verdant Turf. Where I might do a contest, and I might even do something interesting, but probably will not. Alright, let us peck. Wait a minute. These are using... This is using the green tile set. The green cave tiles. It's just because the fog changes the color. The green tiles from Advance Map are... That... Oh. I'm sorry. Ignore that digression. Music here is really nice. I'm a fan of it. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go to my PC briefly to free up a little bit of space and items. There's no restrictions on number of times you do this because it would be silly for there to be. Okay, so what am I going to put here? Um, just the tiny mushrooms, I think. I haven't yet decided on Repel. Probably won't use it. In case I decide to, I may as well have it with me as a reminder. None of the guys in the Pokemon Centers ever do anything for you. Or, not that I remember, anyways. Okay, and I believe that concludes this exciting episode. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time.